The universe is a bounty of mysteries. Who let the dogs out? Why is a mouse when it spins? And what is a serving size? The answer is nobody knows. And how could we when the numbers food manufacturers put on labels are so darn nebulous? Depending on how it's packaged, there are five different serving sizes of John West tuna and olive oil, ranging from 64 grams to 83 grams. This is one serve of Golden Valley diced fruit salad, and so is this, depending on which package you buy. And this is one serve of Valia French vanilla yogurt, and this is one serve, and so is this. Well, I guess that helps explain their ads. Valia gives me the added vitality I need for everything I do. Or as Valia themselves put it... There is actually no standard in relation to serving sizes and what amount constitutes a serving size is at the discretion of each company. Now, if you're the sort of person who relies on these daily intake guide figures when you go shopping, then this is a major flaw in the system because these numbers are based on the serving size of a product. So, this tub here could seem healthier than this tub just because its serving size is smaller. And by setting their serving size at 30 grams, Coco Pops can keep their nutrition numbers looking like this. Even though most people would pour themselves a bowl of crunchy chocolate milkshake more like this, closer to two serves, which does this to their daily intake guide numbers. Some people get a little cynical about this situation, suggesting... These serving sizes are being manipulated to mislead consumers. That is just a myth, according to the food industry's lobby group, the Food and Grocery Council, who championed the system. And to prove it, they cited this example. The beverage industry has agreed that product up to and including 600 mils should be designated single serves, and that above that size, a single serve shall be 250 mils. So, if I want a single serve of Coke, I get this much from this bottle, or this much from this bottle. Does that clear things up? Huh? Damn, these guys are good. Hey, Australian Food and Grocery Council, have your people call our people. Now, the Food and Grocery Council would say that the reason this bottle of Coke is only one serve is because for a bottle that size, you'd expect someone to drink the whole thing. Fair enough. And yet, this Campbell's Go Soup in a convenient microwavable pouch, which can't be reheated or resealed, contains two serves. Are they seriously expecting this to feed two people? Not while I'm around. And this man-sized, chunky, fully loaded pub grates lamb curry, guaranteed to satisfy a man-sized hunger like no soup ever before. Fully loaded man's got balls of meat. To slam a fully loaded can, a fully crammed dinner piece. It actually contains two serves per can, which, oddly enough, are exactly the same size as the sissy version. Campbell's Country Ladle, with delicious farm-picked vegetables. But there's more. According to the Food and Grocery Council, single-serve items should be appropriately sized for the target market. So why does this man-sized bag of Smith's Max chips contain 3.7 servings per package? Is it 3.7 man-sized? Hey! Oh, and if serving portions should be realistic, why is it that there are eight servings per pizza at Domino's? Because uh, there are eight slices in a pizza? Finally something that makes sense. Yeah, but Domino's also say that a person normally eats half a pizza. Now that's a realistic assessment, but it doesn't do great things for their nutritional numbers. So calling one slice a serve works out well for Domino's, but not so well for you. Oi! No wonder. At Domino's, we're always hungry. And finally, the Food and Grocery Council say that the single serve in a multi-pack should bear some relation to the single serving size of a single serve pack. Which is strange, because both of thin single serves are different sizes, and both of them are different from the serving size of the bigger packet. Well, according to M&M's, there are two funs to a party, and the only thing more fun than a party is sitting alone eating a whole pack of M&M's. What? She's right, you know. 
We're not saying this is a giant conspiracy, or even a fun-sized conspiracy. It's just that serving sizes are complicated and confusing, and that can make it harder to keep track of your actual consumption. If you do want to know what you should be consuming, a good place to start are the Australian Dietary Guidelines, although they can be a little bit depressing. Your Australian Dietary Guidelines serve, madam? That's why I don't go to the Australian Dietary Guidelines Christmas party. But if you want to eat healthy, they're the serves for you. The serving sizes the food companies choose, well, they should be taken with a serve of salt. What? <laughs>